Hey guys, how to be a better junior programmer. Tip number two. Now today's tip is about breaking down complex functions. In programming, we call that the single responsibility principle. Over the years, I've seen many junior developers write functions that try to do everything. You see a single function that validates input, processes data, updates the database, formats the output, sends notifications, all in one place. When something breaks or needs to change, it becomes a nightmare trying to figure out exactly which line to change. When you break complex functions into multiple functions, which are smaller and more focused, each function becomes easier to understand, easier to test and debug. If a bug occurs with, let's say, the formatting, right, you can pinpoint exactly which function is responsible. Or when requirements change, you don't need to modify every function. You just modify that one function that handles that specific responsibility. Your maintainability improves, but it also makes your code much more reusable across the different parts of your application. So the solution is what's called the single responsibility principle. Each function should do one thing only and do it really well. So for example, instead of having a function called process user order that validates, calculates, saves, emails, create separate functions. You've got to validate order data, you've got to calculate order total, save order to the database, and send order confirmation. All of these are separate functions. Now, each function now has one very clear responsibility. The name of the function tells you exactly what it does. Right? So by comparison, you can't really tell what process user order would actually do under the hood. So keeps functions short. A good rule of thumb is that if a function doesn't fit on your screen without scrolling, it's probably too long. Aim for functions that are 10 to 20 lines max. As you write code, pause. If you find yourself writing more logic to an existing function, that's your signal that, hey, maybe I should refactor this into its own function. Name it clearly, and now your main function becomes a readable sequence of very well-defined steps. I'm posting every weekday. See you tomorrow.